Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be taking the January 2018 used books tag. Now, as you can probably guess from this, I'm doing this now while it is still January 2018. I've got a big backlog of tags to do that people keep tagging me in. So I'm trying to prioritize basically like new tags or tags that are reasonably new and you know I can see a chain back to whoever made them because I like to try and support those tags. But equally, if they're like time specific tags, like uh, Madman Reads and Rocks did me tag me in the uh, New Year book tag, so I kind of had to do that soon after the new year. So this is going to hopefully go up in January and everybody who's tagged me and stuff and I haven't done it, rest assured I am actually filming and editing all of these tags, I just haven't been releasing them. So like I said, this is the January 2018 used books tag. This was created by Time for Books and I was actually tagged by her in the original tag as well which is very cool. Suggest you check out her channel. I like her filming style actually because uh, as opposed to me where I'm just sitting here and holding up books and stuff, uh, she'll actually you know put the focus really on the books and, and I think it's really good how she does it. It's kind of like you're looking at the books and there's a nice little voiceover and I think, I think that's cool. So uh, yeah, check out Time for Books on YouTube. I've been rambling for too long, so there are a bunch of questions here as usual. I have some books that I'm going to talk to you about, and then I'm going to tag some people at the end to do this tag. So yeah, let's go. Question one, tell us about your favourite secondhand book you own. Show it off if you can. So. I would say quite a large proportion of my books are secondhand. I get lots of books from charity shops. Even when I go online and buy books online, I tend to buy them used if I can get them used. Um, just because it's cheaper, to be honest, and I have no problem with... I'm not one of these people who has to have all of their books looking perfect and all that kind of stuff. I'm more worried about the actual words inside than kind of the presentation, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to go for this book, which is Dying of the Light by George R.R. R. Martin. And actually, I read this as a buddy read with Todd the Librarian, and I didn't actually think much of the book. But the reason why I'm saying this is the favourite second-hand book that I own is because I bought this online, opened it up, and it turned out to be signed. And it's even personalised with a little message. So the, the dedication here says, To Megan, who is finally old enough to read my stuff. And then it's signed George R.R. R. Martin. I don't know man, I just think that's pretty cool. Again, I bought this online and it was listed as like, used, fair condition. And yeah, I would say that's pretty accurate. It is pretty fair. Fair enough. Question number two. Tell us where you like to shop for your secondhand books and why you love it there. So again, I've kind of mentioned this, I do a lot of shopping in charity shops. Somebody is driving down the hill outside my house and just beeping their horn. <laughs> yeah, I go to a lot of charity shops because, again, it's really cheap. So I think the most you tend to see them in charity shops is like £2 a book, which is maybe $3, something like that. Quite often it's like 50 pence, which is less than a dollar per book. And, um, and again, all the money goes to charity anyway, so I don't mind paying a bit more for uh, charity shop books considering it's still cheaper than getting them anywhere else and the money goes to charity and I actually donate quite a lot of my books to charity shops as well but other than charity shops there's a place called the book barn which is in Astley which is in the Midlands here in the UK it's it's near where my mum lives and where I grew up about 40 minute drive away and they have I think uh, 70,000 used books in in stock at any one time and it's just amazing. They have a cafeteria there and everything. It's just, it's beautiful. Question number three. Show us three recent thrift store book buys that you are excited over and explain why you love them. All right, number one. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. And the reason I'm excited over it is that uh, I'm doing a buddy read of this with Graham Quigley and Angela Hart from Books of My Heart. So we're starting that from uh, the start of February and we're all going to post a little review on Valentine's Day, February 14th. And I don't know, I'm just really excited about reading this one. I didn't actually get it from a thrift store, I bought it used online. Number two, I've got Going Postal by Terry Pratchett. This is a hardback. Again, I got this one online. Uh, but it is it is used and the reason I'm excited about this and why I got this yeah on my book blog socialbookshelves.com I review all of the books that I've ever read and I've done all of the discord books except going postal for some reason and it turns out it, the reason I missed it is because I don't own a copy but I have read it so I had to buy it to add it to my collection even though now I've bought it I'm not actually gonna read it I'm just putting it straight on my shelves and number three is room by Emma Donahue and this one I did actually get from a thrift shop or a charity shop as our equivalent of it is 
I'm getting really weirded out. My lights aren't right. I've, I've donked me lights. The problem we were having is I was holding the book up here and then this side of my face was going into shadow because there's a light directly over there, but it wasn't pointing at me. But it's pointing at me now, so we're good. Yeah. Emma Donoghue, room. I got this from a charity shop here in High Wycombe. I think I paid a pound, which is like $1.50, $2. It's lovely. It's in hardback. And again, I've heard lots of good things about room. I've also heard one or two bad things about it, but I do want to read it. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to get started. Question number four. Show and tell. Tell us about, and show us if possible, the worst used book that you have ever bought. Now, I'm thinking outside the box here and, and um, changing it up a bit. So I'm going for uh, J.B. Priestley and Inspector Calls. And basically, we studied this play in secondary school. And um, I, again, I realised that I didn't own a copy of it and I hadn't reviewed it. But it had been so long since I read it that I wanted to buy it and reread it. So I bought this online and it arrived. It was a chuffing study guide without the actual play in it. So I got rid of it, bought it online again. It never arrived, it got lost in the post. Bought it online again, and then something else went wrong. I can't even remember, Remember, I can't even fucking speak as well. This is what this did to me, this, this experience. It took me like six months to get a copy of an Inspector Calls. And then I finally bought it online again, and finally actually got this copy, which is a copy of the play. And I did really enjoy it. I just didn't appreciate having to wait about six months to read it. Question number five, tips and advice. Please give some of your best advice and tips to book lovers who are new or unfamiliar with purchasing used books. So I guess here it's just, you know, have an open mind. Like, like I said, you don't necessarily need to have just all of these perfect condition books on your bookcases, you know, I, I do see the arguments that people have when they want to have these really beautiful editions of all of their favourite books and they want to collect them all and all that kind of stuff but for me books are more functional so while I do keep all of my books and all my bookcases that's just one. Those three shelves alphabetically by surname take you up to Bukowski so I, I have a lot of books so the book itself and the story itself is what you want to read the condition should be an afterthought really. Go to charity shops, go to secondhand shops uh, car boot sales, yard sales, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Swap books with your friends and family potentially. And also don't be afraid to buy used books online because, again, sometimes you get ones like that Dying of the Light that turned out to be signed. And I paid hardly anything for that. So I didn't pay extra for a signed copy. I didn't know it was signed. I don't think the seller knew it was signed. So every now and then you get a real gem like that and it's, it's just nice. And question number six, tag some of the booktube channels that you enjoy and would like to see do this tag. So, I am going to go for Hannah Tay. Because she is the queen of charity shops. Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing, because I realised I've never tagged her in a video. And I'm going to tag Todd the Librarian, because because he's not the king of charity shops, but he is the king of used and secondhand books and like these really old sci-fi books. And he's also the king of tags. That's about it for this tag. If you want to take it yourself and I haven't tagged you, please feel free to. Again, it's a new tag, so all the support it gets is great, especially for time for books. Make sure you link back to the original channel as well. And um, yeah, I mean, used books. Used books are great. I think used books don't get talked about enough on BookTube, and I think that's a shame. One thing I do want to say is please do let me know with a comment what you think of these book selections. And I'm not going to ask you to answer all of the questions from this tag in the comment, but I do want to know your answer to that first one. So tell me about your favourite secondhand book you own. I want to know about that. And in the meantime, please do hit subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye.